to install Jupyter Notebook. Connect your PC to internet, run command prompt, as administrator, then type pip install notebook, and press enter. Modules and files will be downloaded and installed. In my case it's already installed, so it says, requirement already satisfied. Now we'll start Jupyter Notebook server, to do that, first we need to select root directory. Let's select folder named files present on desktop, as our root directory. So, go to that folder, and start command prompt in that folder. Or, we can change directory of same CMD that we are currently using. Now type command, Jupyter dash notebook, then press enter, and wait for server to start. Default browser will open automatically. There you can see files present in our root folder. First program.py file which we created earlier, you can open and edit it. Use any of this two URL to open the notebook in other browser. Let's close our current browser, and open our notebook in other browser. Same homepage will open here. Now, let's create new Python 3 notebook. To do that, click new, on top right corner, and select Python 3. Let's rename it to some new name. This is the cell where we'll write our Python code. To execute the statement, click run button present on top, and that cell's output will be shown just below that cell. Another cell will be created just below previous one. You can also press shift enter to execute the code in cell. Now let's save the file. To again open home directory tab, click open, from file. Now, let's convert this cell to markdown format. Cells with markdown format will not contain Python code, but are used to provide other information. Let's add some more code. We create two variables, a, and b, with value, 10, and 20, respectively, and execute that part, by pressing shift enter. You can also print the variable's value like this. Then we restart our kernel, and see what happens. When we restart our kernel, all the variables will be lost. So, if we try to access any variable's value, it'll give undefined error. To solve this error, we'll have to again execute the code which defines two variable. If we shut our kernel down, we'll not be able to execute any code in this notebook. Notice it says, no kernel. And when we execute any code, it won't produce any output. Notice in a strike, on left side of our cell, it indicates that our code is executing or, queued for execution. But as our kernel is not on, our code will not get executed. To solve the problem, we can reopen same notebook, and new kernel will start.
Notice our code was not auto-saved, so we lost some part of code, so always save your notebook before closing. You can also see all the notebook kernels running from our home page. See the notebook symbol turned green, and running written on right side indicating that this notebook kernel is running, and by reopening it, we can continue our work from where we left last time. We can manage all the running kernel, from running tab, which is present on top, it also have option to shut the kernel down. Notice we can't run any code now. Let's close and reopen the same notebook, which will start new kernel.